Have you ever pondered the seemingly simple question, what would happen if we extinguished the sun with water? Such a concept at first glance might seem straightforward, almost childishly so, but as we delve deeper, we find ourselves entangled in a web of physics, astronomy, and a dash of imagination. The sun, our life-giving star doused by a cascade of water, intriguing, isn't it? But is it really that simple? Let's dive into the science behind why this idea is more science fiction than science fact. The sun, our star, is not like a fire on earth that you can simply douse with water. It's a ball of seething gas and plasma, a state of matter that is neither solid, liquid, nor gas. Imagine it as a vast celestial soup of charged particles, held together by the force of gravity. Within its fiery belly, the sun is a fusion reactor, a place where the intense pressure and heat combine hydrogen atoms to form helium. It's like a cosmic dance, where every step releases a tremendous amount of energy. This energy lights up our world, warms our seas, and gives life to our green landscapes. The sun's radiant energy is the result of countless fusion reactions happening every second, each one transforming matter into pure energy. It's a process that water or any earthly extinguisher cannot quell. So you see, the sun is not a fire that water can extinguish. But let's delve deeper into this idea. You might be wondering, what if we could get enough water to the sun? Could we cool it down and stop the fusion? Well, let's imagine a scenario. Suppose we develop the technology to transport an ocean's worth of water to the sun. Let's say we somehow manage to get all that water past the intense gravitational pull of the sun and onto its blazing surface. What would happen? In a word, chaos. The moment the water reached the sun, it would instantly vaporize due to the extreme heat. This process would separate the water into its basic elements, hydrogen and oxygen. But here's the catch. The hydrogen, once separated from the water, would just add more fuel to the sun's fusion process. You see, the sun is a giant nuclear fusion reactor at its core, constantly combining hydrogen atoms to form helium. This process releases a tremendous amount of energy, which is what makes the sun shine so brightly. Now if we were to add more hydrogen to this process, all we'd be doing is providing the sun with more fuel for its fusion fire. Rather than extinguishing the sun, we'd be stoking the flames. And what about the oxygen? Well, oxygen is a strong oxidizer, meaning it helps other substances burn. In the presence of intense heat and hydrogen, the oxygen could also contribute to the fusion process, further intensifying the sun's energy output. You see, the sun isn't like a fire on Earth that we can just douse with water to put out. It's a self-sustaining nuclear reaction, fueled by the very elements we'd be adding if we tried to extinguish it with water. So the impossibility of extinguishing the sun isn't just a matter of logistics or technology. It's a fundamental issue of physics. The sun's fusion process is driven by the laws of the universe, and there's no amount of water that can change that. So, not only would the water not extinguish the sun, it could actually make it burn even more intensely. So, to sum it all up, extinguishing the sun with water is an impossibility. Let's take a moment to review what we've unearthed in our cosmic journey. We started with an intriguing, albeit far-fetched question. What would happen if we tried to extinguish the sun with water? This led us to explore the nature of the sun itself, a celestial behemoth that's not a fire, but a fusion reactor. The sun, a ball of gas and plasma, operates on the principle of nuclear fusion. Its immense gravity pulls hydrogen atoms together, generating an incredible amount of heat and pressure. This environment allows these atoms to fuse into helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. This energy is what we perceive as the sun's heat and light. Now if we were to introduce water into this equation it wouldn't douse the sun like a fire extinguisher on a bonfire. Instead the sun's intense heat would break down the water molecules into their constituent hydrogen and oxygen atoms. This would essentially provide the sun with more fuel for its fusion process, making it burn even brighter and hotter than before. So, while the concept of extinguishing the sun with water might make for a great science fiction plot, it's far from reality. The sun isn't a fire that can be put out, it's a self-sustaining fusion reactor that's been burning for approximately four and a half billion years. While the thought of dousing the sun with water might be an intriguing one, the reality is that it's a scenario that firmly belongs in the realm of science fiction.